So I would do, I would use the social framework. But the first thing I want to do is I want to check if the user already installed um, their Twitter or Facebook account. Because it is no point, there's no accounts for you to share with anyone if you don't um, sign in into Twitter or Facebook, right? So, so if SL's compose view controller dot is available for service typed. So in this here, I have to specify a string, which is a default, um, which is a predefined string, which is SL service typed Twitter. And you may guess that we have another string for SL service type Facebook. And I think there are other service type like Weibo or something. So let's have a tweet composer. And it is SL compose view controller. And then have to specify the type of this view controller. It is a, just a normal view controller. It, it allows you to enter some text edit some image and maybe in the Facebook page, you can actually specify which album you want to add this image to. So this one is SL service type Twitter again. All right. After we get an instance of this SL uh, composed view controller, we want to set the initial text and we want to set the image. Okay. So let's do that. Tweet composer dot set initial text and guess what we have this initial text over here so let's set that initial text and then i wish that this one is set image but it is actually add image tweet composer dot add image okay because this tweet composer is actually a view controller so the next thing we want to do is to pre present this view controller modally okay you have to present that modally so we we'll do self dot present view controller and tweet composer animated true and animation completion nil all right so this is has to be action sheet okay so that's the case if the user already um, already registers with Twitter in the settings app. What if he or she isn't? So I have an else here and I want to alert something. So let's write a generic alert function that allows me to have a title for the alert view and a message. So func down below here, func alert title, which is a string, the message, which is also a string. And it'll be a very simple, we will do let alert controller equals UI alert controller. And the title is title, message is message and preferred style is dot alert, right? It also is a UI alert controller. Instead of action sheet, we have dot alert. So we will add an action to for that alert controller dot add action. And this is a UI alert action title, which is maybe okay. Style is default. I don't care about the handler. So let's put it nil. Okay. So let's present this because it is also a controller. It is also a view controller. Let's present that modally. Self dot present view controller, alert controller, animated true completion nil. Okay. So that's, we have this alert. All we need to do now is call this function or method rather self.alert title is Twitter unavailable. The message is maybe something like Okay, please share uh, please set up your Twitter account in settings to share this with your friends. All right. So that's it actually. Very simple, right? And you can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight line codes, and you can share everything with Twitter or Facebook. So this is very generic. If you are implement this in your app, you just need to specify what you want to share. You want to have a button maybe, and this could be the share action.
okay and then the actual sharing st stuff is in this action okay so the next thing I want to do is I want to I want to challenge you to write your own Facebook action so that it is very um, very familiar right now by now because it's the only difference is this service typed instead of SL service type Twitter it should be SL service type Facebook right so let's copy this and like that so this is Facebook action this is Facebook and this is SL service type Facebook and you will see that we have seen a Weibo ten cent Weibo or something I don't know about that so all right and that's it this may be Facebook composer okay and this is also Facebook composer all right so this is Facebook and this is Facebook very much the same and maybe we can write a method for that right okay so as you may uh, think back this is action but this action is part of this action sheet the share action sheet so we want to add those actions into the action sheet but maybe we want to have an um, cancel action so because the user don't want to um, share that anymore cancel action equals UI alert action title is cancel the style is cancel instead of default and the handle is nil because in this case we don't want to do anything else so now I want to add share action sheet dot add action and this could be tweet Twitter action and Facebook action and then the last thing is share action sheet dot add action um, cancel action all right so we have those um, this action sheet we have those action added to the action sheet now let's present that um, share action sheet and true completion no. okay but that's it not all it's Actually, it's very a, a few lines of code. But the the last thing we want to do is we want to specify something called on delete action, right? Because um, maybe I want to run it right now to show you why we want to have a delete action. So I will have to return this um, share action as an array because if you remember this method the edit action for row at index path it returns an array of the UI table view row action so we have to return to an array of action and we only have the share action so let's run this game so it's running all right as I swipe like that we have a share button but look at this it looks ugly and <laughs> it looks doesn't, doesn't look right this share button is red the red button is usually 100% should be the delete and maybe you want to the share button to be something bluish right so as we override this method the edit actions for row at in index path we already override the edit uh, delete button so all we need to do right now is to have that delete action again so we will do var delete action equals UI table view row action and the style is dot default title is delete okay and then the handler we also need this handler so that we will do the delete stuff in here so this is again the action index path okay so here we'll have a product line that product line equals self dot product lines sub index path dot section okay so this index path dot section is 
specifies the product line in a, in an array of product lines that we have. So then now we want to delete this specific product at this index path from our model. Product line dot products dot remove at index and index path dot row. Okay. So now all we need to do is delete this uh, visually from the table view. Table view dot delete rows at index path. Now we have to specify an array of index path. And with row animation, I want to use the automatic one dot automatic. Okay. And if you are not familiar with this kind of delete thing in table view, I really recommend you to check out the own things your table view series. Um, down below, I would give you the link to that. So this, why do I want to call the delete rows at index pass? This one will do all the animation stuff because if we call the table view dot reload, um, reload data, that's cool. That's do the things that we will need, but it will make a flash, a, a flash, um, a white screen very fast. It doesn't look really nice. Okay. All right. So the next thing I want to do is I want to change the background color of the share action. So I would do share action dot background color and that is UI color. I would do the red, green, blue here. Right is 85.0 over zero. And then maybe I'll copy that. I should have a code snippet here instead of typing like that. So blue is 8.0. Okay, alpha is 1.0. Okay. So don't forget to add this delete action into that. Okay. So let's run this. Okay, so I swipe and then I have the share. But you see that this one, it's the delete is on the left and the share is on the right. I want it to be the share on the left. What's happened here? Well, it turns down that it's this share action and the delete action, the index of this inside this array that we, um, we returned will be the index of this. So I would do it like that share action okay so there we go we have this delete and then the share so i will click it to the share maybe twitter okay then we have this image and we can type something here click post or even the location and apple will do all the add location and we want to enable or not okay things like that or Maybe you want to put the Facebook and remember that I don't install the Facebook account in my app, in my simulator. So I will click Facebook and then indeed we have this alert view. Okay. I hope that you have been enjoying this tutorial. Leave me a comment or question below and I will be reviewing comments and answering questions personally. If you want free iOS courses, visit me at developerinspirers.io. Create an account and join our free courses. Until next time, go out there, learn new things, create new products, and contribute to the world.